So Nick, what have you got for us today? Morning everyone. So we've got some nice fresh signs of buffalo, Cape buffalo. Um, we've got a fresh dung pile over here and some fresh tracks uh, just next to it. Um, tracks indicate that they're moving sort of this way towards uh, the east. Um, it's quite fresh. You can see there's a lot of moisture still on this dung pile. A few flies on there. Um, it's kind of come out in like a big clump like this due to buffalo uh, having a lot of water in their diet, having to drink every single day. Um, and the tracks themselves, very sharp, very crisp, um, on top of any other tracks from yesterday, on top of the vehicle tracks. Um, so yeah, quite fresh tracks. We'll see if we can continue to follow them. Hopefully we'll find some signs of, of lions potentially following the buffalo. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can come up with and hopefully have a bit of luck. Nick, what if you stick your finger in it, is it quite warm? Is it fresh? Uh, potentially. I wouldn't do that myself. That's why we have training ranges for. Um, so yeah, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Morning Mel, what have we got here? Good morning, so we've just come across this beautiful herd of elephants. There's some babies, some youngsters, old females, and they're just drinking in the river here, in the sand river on Mala Mala. It's so beautiful just to watch them as they, they carry on about their day. What's that one doing with the trunk there Mel? She's actually just resting it on her tusk. Um, generally, generally males, males the male, the male elephants, elephants in must, will actually do that. Um, females don't do it so much, but yeah, as we just saw, she was doing it, just resting her trunk in between drinking. As you can see, they actually suck the water up through their trunk and then put it into their mouths, so they can't actually just suck water and drink it straight through their trunks. They've got to actually put it into their mouth. So while she was doing that, she was just resting her trunk on her task like that. How often do elephants need to drink? They do need to drink every day. They are quite water dependent. Um, so every day they will drink. Um, and what's nice for us here with the sand river in the most part of our reserve, we do see a lot of elephants and every day they will come down to the river and down to pans as well. There's a lot of pans that are scattered around. Um, so it's a good place to start looking for elephants if that's what you're looking for. So Nick, how hard is it really to find a herd of 100 buffalo? Mike, surprisingly it, it can be quite difficult. Um, when you get such large numbers of buffalo, they have to travel quite large distances for search of food and water. Um, so they can move quite far and sometimes move completely out of our area. Um, luckily this herd has been sticking around for a while. Um, but yeah, it, it can be quite difficult, surprisingly. Lucky for our viewers, you're quite good at answering my sarcastic questions. Coming <laughs> back. So these birds that are on the buffalo, um, they're called oxpeckers. There's the yellow-billed and the red-billed oxpecker. And they are eating the ticks and parasites off these buffalo. Um, it's a win-win situation for both of them. Uh, the oxpeckers get a free meal and the buffalo gets a free clean. So there's quite a large herd of buffalo here. 
how do we know the difference between the males and the females, sir? Well, Mike, males and females both have horns. Um, but if you look closely, the male's horns are much, much larger than the female's. Um, what we call a boss, it's where the joints, the, the horns meet or are joined at the top of the head. Um, the males, it's called a boss and it's much larger than the females. Um, the females' horns are much smaller and they've actually got some hair on the top. You can see a few females in the background here and the horns are just much smaller than the males. Also, if you can see the underside of the buffalo, that gives a good indication if it's a, a male or a female. But mostly just the size and the, the horns of these buffalo gives it, gives it away who's male, who's female. So Nick, tell us why you wanted to become a ranger, or how you became a ranger. Well Mike, for me it's always just been a massive passion uh, since I was a young kid. Um, you know, my holidays were spent in the bush, spent fishing. Um, so from a young age I just always had a passion for the wildlife, animals um, and just the bush in general. So yeah, once I finished school and went to university for a little bit, I managed to follow my dream and, and went on a ranging course or a guiding course and uh, yeah once I had my qualifications I immediately started working um, and then started to further my qualifications and eventually all roads led me to, to Mala Mala which as a kid also was a place that I had known about and dreamt about coming to see. Uh, and I'm just, you know, so fortunate that I'm, I'm living my dream now by working and, and living in a place like Mala Mala with just incredible wildlife, incredible scenery. Um, I mean, as you can see, we're here in the Sand River with, you know, a herd of over 100 buffalo. Um, yeah, just living a dream that uh, I've had since I was a kid. So Nick, you mentioned earlier about the lions potentially being in the area as well. What makes you think that? Well, Mike, for, for lions, buffalo are probably one of their major targets out here. Um, it's a very dangerous animal for the lions to take on, but the reward is, is quite substantial. You know, it's a huge meal for a pride of lions. Um, and it was actually at this exact same spot, uh, the Rock Drift Dongo with the Sand River, uh, that we were following actually a pride of lions. Uh, and they managed to settle down here. And as they settled down, a herd of buffalo like this came down and uh, the lions jumped into action. Um, chasing the buffalo but it, the buffalo stopped turned the tables very quickly and then the lions were the ones running for their lives so um, it is still possible that there could be lions following this herd of, pro, uh, this herd of buffalo um, so maybe once we finish here we will loop behind where the buffalo came from and, and see if we can pick up any sign of any lions so Nick it looks like it's all coming together for you here Mike as we predicted, um, just behind the buffalo, or well, some ways behind the buffalo, but we've got tracks for quite a number of lions here. Uh, and you can see quite clearly in the sand, on top of the vehicle tracks. So uh, it's definitely worth our while following these tracks. Um, hopefully we'll find these, these lions. Um, yeah, not too far from the buffalo. But you can see here quite a nice clear track in the sand here. Perfect, nice and fresh. So hopefully we'll have some luck and find these lions. So Nick, how happy are you when things work out like they're supposed to? Yeah, Mike, uh, all plans came together here and uh, we've managed to find the lions now. Uh, it does look like the Kambula Pride. We've got one of the younger sub-adults here on the tree behind us. 
um, and then in the grass in front of us there's quite a few more uh, and at the moment it looks like just visual of one of the gari males uh, but we'll investigate a little bit more and see exactly what the numbers are like but yeah so chuffed that we found these lines um, after spending time with the buffalo first uh, going back behind the buffalo to see if there was any sign of the lions picking up the tracks of the lions uh, and now eventually finding the lions uh, it is getting late in the morning so they're probably resting um, but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens Next, I don't think it's buffalo they're after, but this one is certainly slinking around as if she can see something. Yeah, Mike, I think there could potentially be some impala in the area, which I think has maybe grabbed their attention now. Um, the buffalo is still a bit of a ways off. Um, as you can see, this female is definitely interested in some impala, I think, further, further in front of her using all the bushes and the long grass to her advantage. Nick, by us being here, do you think we're impacting on any hunting that might be happening? Uh, not at all, Mike. Um, we just sort of staying in one place. And as you can see, the lions are doing what they would be doing regardless of whether we were here or not. And a lot of the animals are, are very relaxed around the vehicles and continue their life um, oblivious to us. So um, we're not attracting any attention to the lions, um, but we're also not disrupting any of their prey animals. So hopefully we can watch and see what happens. Um, the hunts don't always end in a success, but the build-up to the hunts are, are still incredible to watch. Uh, but hopefully for them, they, they do get lucky. Although an impala ain't going to go too far amongst this many lions. When I've been watching them catch buffalo or hunt buffalo, their strategy seems to be just to run in and grab hold. Uh, do they change their tactics at all for the impala? Uh, definitely. Um, with the buffalo, they'll often rush the herd to try flush out any youngsters, cause a bit of chaos, try get any injured or, or old individuals to to actually fall out of the herd. Um, with the impala they'll typically try set up more of an ambush um, and with so many lions like this you might have a number of them sort of lying in wait and then one lion trying to flush the impala towards the ones that are potentially hiding uh, in an ambush situation so depending on the prey they definitely have different tactics um, So Nick, this male lion seems to be limping a little bit. Any guesses on why? Uh, Mikey is a little bit older, which could play a bit of a role. But uh, he's definitely been in the wars recently as well. You know, often, you know, lions work so well together when it comes to hunting, but sharing is something that they don't do at all. So maybe he's just had a bit of a scrap with either the lionesses or even his brother. Uh. So 
And like we can hear quite a lot of impala snorting and alarm calling at the bottom. What do you think happened? Did they catch one? Um, I doubt it. I think what happened is the impala have spotted the lions and are now sounding the alarm call to alert the rest of the impalas that there are lions in the area. You can see the lions aren't really rushing in. If one of the females had caught one, there's a lioness running in there though. So what do you think happened there, Nick? So Mike, I think the Impala have spotted the lions. Um, you can see they've kind of settled down now. You can still hear the odd Impala snorting in the distance, alarm calling. But uh, they've definitely missed this opportunity, which is fairly normal. You know, the prey out here is designed to escape. So it's not an easy task for the lions to always catch their prey. But uh, the fact that they are trying to hunt now during the day quite actively means that they're potentially quite hungry. Um, and you'll see now all the cubs are coming with very disappointed looks on their faces because the adults have not uh, caught something yet. On the money, I think. Mm -hmm. Or oh, alternatively, lines are being death.
Well, folks, it's been an absolutely phenomenal morning here on Mala Mala Game Reserve. We've seen some incredible things, starting off from finding buffalo tracks and dung, leading us down to the Sand River to watch a beautiful herd of elephants drinking. Um, yeah, and then while watching that herd of elephants, the buffalo that we were following came down for a drink of water, spent quite a bit of time with them. We thought that maybe potentially lions would be tracking the herd of buffalo, so looped quite far behind where the buffalo had come from managed to find some lion tracks and just incredibly fortunate as well that we found the lions and um, they got distracted by some impala but we spent quite a bit of time with them just as Mal said an incredible morning here on Mala Mala uh, just so fortunate to be here and we hope you enjoy and we hope you stay safe yeah and I just want to say from all of us here on Mala Mala Game Reserve thank you so much for watching our videos and supporting us uh, please subscribe and like our videos and if you'd like to see anything specific give a shout in the comments